In 2018, the Liberal Party hired PR firm Hill Douglas to craft an election-winning persona for its new leader, Scott Morrison. This one was tough. Ooh. I mean, here is a bloke who worshipped a lump of coal in Parliament. He was an asshole to refugees. He abstained from voting on marriage equality. And then he votes against a Royal Commission on Banking 26 times. I mean, he had his arm around the old Prime Minister while his backroom men were doing his numbers. And I'm ambitious for him. Yeah, good on you. <laughs> <laughs> for Scott Morrison to win this election, we had to kill Scott Morrison. And that's when we invented ScoMo. <laughs> ScoMo's a completely different guy. I mean, stick him in a cab, send him out to do some dickhead shit. <laughs> The first thing ScoMo needed was a slogan. But we needed something a little bit different. We needed to sound meaningful, but not be. If you have a go in this country, you'll get a go. We always want Australians who have a go to get a go. If you have a go, you get a go. A go. No one knows what that is, but everyone wants one. With the election looming, the team from Hill Douglas set about devising their campaign strategy. And that's when we came up with a strategy that we call Ask, Don't Tell. How good is Gladys Lou? How good's Trevor Evans? How good is Gladys Berejiklian? Then you don't give them time to think whether it's actually good or not. <laughs> How good's John Howard? How good's Dave Sharma? She's a, a, a former Afghani. How good's that? <laughs> it's not a drinking game for us. How good is that? Boom. How good is that? How good is that? How good is that? <laughs> the hardest part of this brief was that if ScoMo talks about the past, it reminds voters about the spills. But if he talks about the future, it could trigger another one. He needs to keep voters hypnotised in the present. And that's when we came up with a whole new tense for the English language. The future past. We even used it in the debate. We brought the budget back to surplus next year. And... <laughs> Did you catch that? We brought the budget back to surplus next year. We brought it back next year. Because already done it. Today is a big day. ScoMo is speaking at the Liberal Party's campaign launch. See, the party's got a problem with women, mm. right? So we needed to get some women up there with him. <laughs> Where are we meant to find women? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. I think I'm married to a woman. Hello. Yeah. So we sounded Jenny out. She was keen. It turns out his mother is a woman too. <laughs> and it's Mother's Day, so... Win-win. How good's Mum? <laughs> How good's Jenny? Great. Thank you. In Australia, where if you have a go, you get a go. He's not done. Get ready we for our newest slogan. It's our emptiest we one yet. <laughs> Here we go. It is my vision for this country as your Prime Minister, to keep the promise of Australia to all Australians. Oh! oh that. <laughs> it sounds like it's saying something important, mm -mm. but it means absolutely nothing! <laughs> the launch has gone well, but the job is not done yet. I mean, yeah, it is tough turning a terminally unpopular politician into a vote winner. <laughs> but hey, it could have been tougher. Ha <laughs> ha